Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another Table Talk. Uh, today's uh, discussion is on the uh, Viking Multistar or Multistar Viking uh, 2208 uh, 2600 kV motor from uh, Hobby King uh, that I've been testing and using in uh, park jets here, these, these foam airplanes in the back here with uh, prop and slot. So it's a quad racing motor but I've been I've been using it with uh, and, and having a lot of uh, great uh, performance out of it for use in park jets on uh, 3S. Uh, so anyway, it's the most, uh, you know, you've probably heard me say this if you've watched any of my other videos. It's the most expensive motor uh, that I've tested. Um, when RC Plane Pirate and I first started uh, communicating back and forth, I asked him for uh, a couple of recommendations on motors that he had tested. Um, and he w this was one of the ones that he uh, recommended uh, to me. Um, he also was the one who helped me get it. Uh, he noticed shortly after that that it actually went on sale. It's actually since I, I bought the first one for uh, about $16 and I've also, this is the second one I picked up on sale for about $21. The regular price is about $28.70 which uh, if I were personally I, I wouldn't pay that price for this motor. It's a very good motor but the, there are other uh, less expensive um, motors out there that perform as well or better. Um, but anyway, I, I've been running it now for a few months. Uh, the one that I have in a plane right now, I've got probably close to a hundred flights on that. So I've been putting it through a lot of uh, a lot of punishment. Uh, primarily, I've been using the six by four EPC gas prop um, right right from the outset. Uh, but recently. Um, if you've watched my one of my last videos, I did a review on this. This is the uh, Gemfan 6045 uh, carbon nylon prop that I picked up from Banggood. Uh, very inexpensive prop, works uh, works super well. Uh, so anyway, uh, we talked about the price. Uh, like I said, I, it's been on sale twice. So um, you know, if you're interested in this motor, uh, just just keep an eye on the Hobby King uh, website. You can probably get it for uh, for cheaper, which which I did. And like I said, I personally I wouldn't pay that full close to $29 for it, but uh, anyway, uh, just a few of the details. Uh, it is a bit chunkier than some of the other ones uh, that I've tested with the prop and all the hardware to put in my park jet. It's, uh, it weighs about 52 grams. It's the heaviest by a couple of grams, but uh, you know, it's not, it's not super heavy. It's still lighter. This is the uh, DYS uh, 2208 2600 kV motor, which I've run uh, quite a bit. Um, uh, you know, in the past, uh, it's been a good, been a good motor, uh, and it, one of the reasons why I picked up this uh, Viking uh, Multistar Viking motor was to sort of uh, compare it. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, it does have uh, it's it's uh, uh, Hobby King claims it has N50 magnets, uh, and uh, I would say that they are N52, N54. I think is sort of the highest quality right now. So N50 is right up there. Uh, it has very smooth bearings. They they uh, say it has Japanese NSK bearings. It has very smooth bearings, but when I spin it here by hand, uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cog or run, uh, you know, clunky. But it, you can tell that the magnets are are very very strong. Uh, and I know you're not going to be able to see it. And I tried to take pictures of it uh, in a blog post that I did. But the magnets they've made the magnets very thin. So what's been able to happen is is that they put them around the uh, outside of the bell here the space between each magnet as it's as it's put inside the bell is actually quite small it's, I think it's maybe a, maybe a millimeter probably less than a millimeter and what that also does because they're curved and thin is uh, the tolerance between the stator and the magnets is really really uh, really really tight and these are things that I've learned to uh, you know to look for now that I've uh, learned a lot more about quad racing motors and uh, motors in general so very very impressed with that um, you know there's some things they could probably do to make it a little bit lighter it does have a solid shaft so a lot of the quad racing motors have uh, hollow shafts now so they could probably make it a little bit lighter that way uh, maybe you know make it a naked bottom or maybe they don't necessarily need all these uh, um, spokes sort of on the bell but anyway uh, I'm super impressed with its uh, with its performance like I said I've run the other one uh, that's still in the plane uh, I've got a book close to 100 flights on it. Uh, running a lot in my uh, RC Powers F18 version 5. It was a, it's just been a great uh, power combo. Uh, but it really, really likes this prop, this uh, carbon nylon, uh, 6045 carbon nylon prop. Uh, speed controller I've been running it with is uh, primarily is the Tourney G AE45, uh, again from Hobby King. 
Um, custom settings of 22 and a half degrees on the timing, 24 kilohertz on the uh, pulse width modulation frequency. It really, really likes that uh, setup. Uh, I have run it on the uh, the Turnigy Plush as well, uh, which you know just on factory default, um, still still pretty good performance. But I found overall the the best performance has been with this uh, Turnigy AE with the uh, with the custom settings. Um, and now, as I discussed in my uh, my review of this prop, the, the really good thing is that it had a huge jump, uh, a really really big jump, like 13% jump in performance with net minimal increase in, I mean, not even really noticeable increase in amp draw. So, uh, really really good performance, close to 1,200 grams of thrust um, with this prop on 3S. So really really impressive. Uh, comparing these two motors, I mean. You know this this motor just it just blows this motor completely out of the water this DYS uh, motor and I mean this is an $18 motor as well uh, so you know it's uh, performance wise it's just night and day I did a I did a showdown video at the field uh, comparing these uh, these two motors and uh, again if you could get this on sale for you know between 16 to 20 dollars uh, compared to this motor I, I would I would opt for this motor the performance and the quality of the motor is uh, is much much uh, better. So um, yeah, so I'm really uh, really impressed with it. It, uh, it you know originally, as I've said in some of my other motor review videos, originally when I first started using it, uh, I thought it was going to sort of fit into the uh, workhorse category, but maybe sort of in the higher end of the workhorse category. Uh, but now that I've um, you know with experimentation with the uh, this uh, speed controller and settings and now this prop again that uh, uh, RC Plane Pirate recommended. In fact all three of these uh, these components here I wouldn't if RC Plane Pirate and I hadn't been uh, communicating I, I probably never would have tried these so uh, you know again as I've said many times a big shout out to uh, RC Plane Pirate. Uh, this, this is a really really uh, uh, super good combo so you know close to 1200 grams of thrust for uh, only 36 amps drawn, I mean that's uh, that, that's pretty uh, pretty good performance in, in my book anyway. So uh, yeah, so I, like I said, I guess you have to uh, determine if the if the price is worth it. It's the only um, quad racing motor. I mean, other than this one, but it's the only quad racing motor that I've tested thus far that's in the 2208 size, which uh, I think maybe helps a little bit with the torque. Plus, the, like I said, the magnets are really strong. Uh, for its size, it's a very, very, very torquey uh, motor. Uh, plenty of torque. Um, you know, flying my planes, which are you know anywhere between uh, 19 and a half to 21 ounces, uh, all up weight. I mean, it's just a real beast. And now with this addition of the 6045 prop, I'm getting like you know two to one thrust to weight ratio, almost at full throttle, and uh, one to one at mid throttle. But still, you know, very efficient compared to a lot of the other. Uh, quad racing motors that I've been testing and running that are you know uh, pulling much closer or maybe slightly more than 40 amps this is pardon me a very 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 efficient choice so yeah so there we go folks um, like I said if you can pick it up for uh, a good price me personally uh, you know I wouldn't rush out and buy a whole bunch of them at full price I think 20 close to 29 bucks is a bit much for this motor when you can get you know there's lots of other motors uh, the B rotor 2207 20, uh, 20, uh, 2780 yeah I think that I've uh, done a review on already from RC timer um, you know you can pick that up for about 16 or 17 dollars and and with this 6x4 ABC gas prop it's it's pretty close to uh, the performance but if you can get this one on sale um, and you're looking for something that's uh, torquey uh, can produce uh, super good um, uh, acceleration whole shot and uh, top end speed paired up with this uh, inexpensive uh, Gemfan 6045 carbon nylon prop um, and the uh, you know relatively inexpensive Turney GTE uh, I think you're gonna have yourself a really 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 good uh, power setup so there's my review of the uh, multi-star Viking 2208 2600 kV uh, quad racing motor from Hobby King uh, for use in uh, park jets um, I'll have some links down below to, uh, to, to uh, all of the goodies on this uh, that I've talked about here as well as RC Plane Pirates uh, YouTube channel. He did a, a pretty serious uh, bench test of this motor uh, quite a while ago when he and I first started communicating and really really put it uh, through its paces on, uh, uh, with a lot more props and uh, batteries than I did so if you're interested in, in, uh, in that uh, 
The Hobby King says it's about a 39.1 amp motor. Uh, well, I'm not sure that seems like kind of a weird number. I think it can probably be pushed up to an over 40 amps without too much problem uh, at all. Not that I've really pushed it that far, but uh, anyway, there we go. So um, yeah, please check out the comments down below for more uh, for more information. Uh, thanks for watching. Blue skies, calm winds, everyone. Park jet noise. The other side of freedom, baby. Take care.